you gorgeous people of the interwebs. I hope you're having a fun dabby dozy day. Do you want to see what my husband bought me for our wedding anniversary? Oh, I've just realised I've got the wrong glasses on. I mean, I love how they look, but um, I can't see the camera in them. That's so much better I can see you now. It was our sixth wedding anniversary on the 1st of April. Yes, we chose to get married on the 1st of April and that's because we're both idiots. We're fools. We're the April fools. So why not get married on April Fool's Day and it'll make us laugh every single year. I totally bumped today's video to Thursday because I was so excited to show you this. Now I know the thumbnail is going to give away which brand Hubby went for. We were supposed to be keeping things quite low key this year and uh, he went rogue. He absolutely went rogue. What we try and do with our wedding anniversary gifts to each other is stick with the traditional gifts. So for our first wedding anniversary it was paper and we had things like leather and wood and things like that. So I'll always try and stick to those but there have been occasions where the link back to the traditional choice has been a little bit tenuous for our first anniversary because hubby is stormtrooper crazy he's stormtrooper mad he is all about the stormtroopers i bought him a full stormtrooper from the um original makers of the stormtrooper costumes and um oh, that's not made of paper but my <laughs> My excuse behind that was the certificate of authenticity was the paper element. I know it doesn't look like it, but this is genuinely the happiest moment of his life. So yeah, we do try and push the boundaries. And before I show you what he got for me when he went rogue, um, I want to show you this little necklace here that I'm wearing. This is a key with wings on it and it's got a little cage and the cage opens up at the moment the cage has got a little black pearl in it but it also came with a little white pearl on the actual notches for the actual key bit it says love now this was another rogue gift from hubby and he bought this when we were in san diego on holiday a couple of years ago he went off for a little wonder he found this necklace he thought it was really really cute so he came back and he surprised me with it and it is adorable it is lovely it's beautiful however with the pearl i can't wear this in the shower and you know me i'm quite lazy i like to put jewelry on that stays on so i put this on especially for our anniversary i am wearing one of my gucci lipsticks I'm also wearing my Gucci Kingsnake inspired t-shirt by Angie Baby. All of these things will be linked down below so you can go and check them out. My anniversary gift. No, this is not a true unboxing. I unboxed this on the day. Yes, I did put the ribbon back on just to show you guys. I don't know about you, but I love this new packaging and I've got to say the colour looks somewhat familiar doesn't it? Na -na. No wonder I liked the colour of these joggers so much they are Gucci green so we'll get into this in a second but I just want to say you know I love luxury in all of its glorious forms. If you like luxury in all of its glorious forms, then go ahead, hit the subscribe button and ring my bell so you'll be notified of my new video uploads discussing and showing luxury in all of its glorious forms. Don't forget to give the videos you enjoy the thumbs up love it all helps with the youtube algorithm witchcraft and don't forget to follow me on instagram okay let's uh let's get into it i'm not undoing the ribbon because it was nice and easy to slide off so i'm just going to go for it i am loving these little gucci tote bags oh oh it's my favorite style as well east west Yes, I love these. I really love these. I've got a little one that came with my Christmas lipstick from Hubby. These are very, very handy and I have used the baby one out and about going to buy some coffee because it was just the right size to carry a few little bits, not too much. 
Da, da, da. We have got a double dust bag situation. That means it's a pair of things. Well, let me put this down and I'll show you. Okay, so this is clearly footwear. Pause the video now. Pop down to the comment section. Let me know what you think, which footwear, which Gucci footwear you think this is. Come back up, press play, and see if you were right. <laughs> Oopsie. Hubby went rogue. And I am gobsmacked. He only went and got me the Gucci Matalasse Chelsea boots. They are phenomenal. Um, at first I was like, oh, this is an unusual choice. I've never had a Chelsea boot before. I don't think I've ever really looked at Chelsea boot. I'm all about the DMs and the biker boots. But uh, I, I popped them on um, and <laughs> the more I looked at them, the more I thought, yeah. And he gave me his workings out and his workings out were the style, the chevron obviously goes with my Gucci Marmont just out of shot um, camera bag, but it would also go with my Louis Vuitton Neo Noe, my Gucci Soho Disco in red, also my Saint Laurent Puffer, my dreamiest of all my dream bags in my collection, um, and he liked the chunky. So, uh, there is so much detail on here. So he thought it'll go with a lot of stuff in my collection. It's not a handbag. He wanted to get me something a little bit different. He also thought these be really easy to get in and out of because he does know sometimes if I'm just popping out to the shop, I don't want to be lacing up my DMs. It's a bit of a faff. Um, and I don't have any biker boots with a zip up the side, so I can't wear those either. So I generally just pop on the same pair of trainers all the time, but uh, he knows I love a big chunky boot. Cool, aren't they scrummy? These are a size 38, and while the website says they are true to size, and a 38 is my size, they are a little bit long. They're, my big toe came to about here. So um, we are actually sending this pair back but we've already got a 37 and a half. I don't want to go down a full size because I think it might make it a bit too skinny for my little wide trotters. Um, so yes, we are sending these ones back, but I am having them exchanged for a slightly smaller size. Um, you can see they, they, look, they look kind of long, I think. Okay, so the website says it runs true to size, but I don't believe it. We'll see what happens when the 37 and a half comes. I'll pop that one down and we'll go through some of the details. So it is a Chelsea boot. So it's got this kind of elasticated type bit. You've got a pull thing here and a pull thing here. And I do believe these are for you to put like a little hooky thing through so you can pull them on easily. It has got the glorious Matalassi soft squidgy leather. It's got the cheeky little GG stitched into the heel bit there. It's got Gucci stamped into the toe. It's got this amazing chunky sole. <laughs> but my favourite feature is something that you're not going to see all the time. <gasps> Look at that 3D snake on the bottom. Not that I plan on walking through any mud or snow or anything like that, but if I were to walk through anything like that, wet sand, where am I going to find that? Why am I going to be wearing these on wet sand? Who knows? But wherever I go, I'll be leaving this impression. Mm, hello, King Snake. So not only do we have this gorgeous snake running along the bottom and this mega tread, which I absolutely adore, but we've got this tiny little star and a little Gucci made in Italy as well. These are also available in white, but I find them to be a little bit on the stormtrooper side and probably a little bit too stormtroopery, even for hubby. You know, if you watched 
our youngest's unboxing of his first Gucci luxury item for his 25th birthday last year. Um, we bought him the Gucci Kingsnake card holder, which I love and I'm secretly very jealous of because I want it for myself. When I tried these on and I walked around the bedroom, they were insanely comfortable. Now, I know trotting around a room on a nice squidgy carpet with very, very good underlay is not the same as pounding the streets for hours on end, doing your favourite hobby or shopping, but um, they really gave me the confidence that these are going to be fantastic to wear. Now, I am not a particularly difficult person to buy gifts for. There is always something I want, however, I am an expensive person to buy gifts for, so i rather people don't buy me expensive gifts because it's not their fault that I like expensive things and it's not, not fair. So Hubby could have chosen something from my wish list or something like that, but he went rogue and I'm really, really happy that he did because these are gorgeous and you know that I'm going to be wearing these with denim cut-off shorts and t-shirt in the summer as well because I am that girl who wears DMs in summer with my shorts and my little frocks and things like that. Now hubby initially said that he was going to get me a handbag for our anniversary and I said how is that in any way related to iron or I do believe the other option for a sixth wedding anniversary is either iron or sugar. So I was like, get me some sweeties, I'll be okay with that. Um, but, but he said he was going to get me a handbag because the hardware on it would have some iron in it and that would make it a completely legitimate purpose. And I wagged my finger and I said, don't be silly baby, don't be silly. <laughs> but this is hubby's reasoning behind choosing these Gucci Chelsea boots for our sixth wedding anniversary, which should have been iron or sugar. I got you these, so you are tall enough to do the ironing. So totally legit present. Happy anniversary, my beautiful wife, love you. The tradition of tenuous links to traditional wedding anniversary gift elements um, continues. And I do think I might have started it with the whole Stormtrooper certificate of authenticity for our paper anniversary, but hubby is definitely giving me a run for my tenuous link money at the moment. So yeah, these are going to be picked up in the next couple of days and I cannot wait. They've said it could take up to two weeks to ship out the other ones once they've received these, but the guy said it normally takes a couple of days to turn them around, um, but obviously they won't ship out the new pair until they've received this pair back. What do you think of my Gucci Chelsea boots? Are you into these big, thick, chunky soles a la Prada monolith, etc.? Oh my God, the detail on them is just fabulous. And there are no defects, no defects. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of them. So a massive thank you to Hubby for going rogue and doing an excellent job by going rogue. If you enjoyed this video, then please do give it the thumbs up, love. I really do hope you have enjoyed it. And I'll see you for today's video bumped to Thursday, where I tell you a little bit more about my hair and other things. So until I see you, yes you, boop, for the next video, Please stay safe, be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, stay fandabby dozy, and bye bye.